Good evening, nearly a week after a ransomware attack on Bernalillo County, most of the county's buildings and services are still closed. News 13's Annalisa Pardo tried to get answers today and is live at Alvarado Square with the latest. Yeah, Dean and Jess, despite ads running on TV telling people to come down to this one stop shop for county services, the building is still mostly shut down. Burnco has moved, now located at 415 Silver Southwest with a new way of doing business to better serve you. This ad telling people to come to Alvarado Square has run dozens of times in the past week, but all the while the building has been mostly closed because of a suspected ransomware attack on the county system on January 5th. Notices online and at the building's door let visitors know most services are closed, but there's still confusion on what's open. A one-stop shop for all your county needs. Visit the treasurer, assessor, county clerk, planning and development, and more. Today we talked to about six visitors, and two of them were turned away when services they needed weren't available. We came here to do our taxes for our property, and they actually did the services. I came to get a well permit. The gentleman at the desk told me that the systems were down and that they can't process anything, so he gave me a phone number to call. We went to the county to get more details on the cyber attack. Is there any evidence that uh, citizens' personal information may be compromised? I don't, I don't know. That's part of the investigation. Okay. And I, I haven't heard anything on that. This week, the county opened the lobby of the building with minimal services available, but they aren't saying if a ransom has been demanded and how much that ransom might be, or whether it will be days, weeks, or even months before the county is back up and running. Is there anything that you can share at this point, I guess what the investigation is showing so far? No. You know, I hate to be vague, but until they complete their investigation, um, you know, it kind of stays status quo. We're doing the best we can. So right now, when you come down to Alvarado Square, someone will meet you in the lobby and let you know if the service you need is available or where to go. And we have a list of all the services available now at the building uh, on KRQE.com. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Annalisa. This isn't the first time the county building has been closed since opening in August. It also closed down for about a week in October after vandals shot out windows at Alvarado Square, causing as much as half a million dollars in damage.